Late this afternoon, vaccine experts from the FDA, they voted to recommend a second vaccine offering protection against a dangerous respiratory infection. Here to explain, Dr. Daniel Kritzkis, Chief of Infectious Diseases at the Brigham. Dr. Kritzkis, thanks for joining us today. Well, it's nice to be with you, Erica and Ben. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dr. Kritzkis. So the virus we're talking about is RSV. So far, there's not been a vaccine to protect the most vulnerable groups, which are either young children or older adults. But now the FDA is considering two vaccines for people in that latter, latter category, age 60 and older. One's from Pfizer, the other is from GSK. The panel has voted to recommend both for FDA approval, but the votes here were not unanimous. So what can you tell us about the holdouts? Well, I think there were two principal issues that seemed to be um, concerning the people who voted not to approve. One is that the number of actual uh, events in terms of uh, clinical uh, uh, experience of RSV was relatively small. And so the difference between the arms, although statistically significant, was not very big. And the second is that it didn't really target the most vulnerable people, that is, you know, compromised adults who, in whom we worry most about severe RSV. Well, speaking of how severe it can be, RSV can cause serious symptoms, as you know. So let's look at these annual estimates from the CDC, about 60,000 to 160,000 hospitalizations among adults 65 and older, between 6,000 to 10,000 fatalities there. So what kind of impact could vaccines have on those numbers? Well, I, I think having an RSV vaccine for vulnerable, vulnerable adults could have a significant impact on hospitalizations and death. Uh, and not every vaccine is going to be 100% effective. We're fortunate when we get to 50 or 60% efficacy. Uh, and so uh, I think having a vaccine is certainly better than not having it. Uh, and it will be able to reduce the uh, morbidity and potentially mortality from RSV. All right, so we talked about older adults. Let's talk about that other vulnerable age group, the youngest children among us. Uh, when do we know that the, about the FDA might make a decision on those kinds of vaccines for young children or for pregnant women? I don't have any insight into the actual timing of their decisions, but I know that there have been trials in which uh, women who are pregnant receive the vaccine because the antibodies they generate cross the placenta and provide protection to infants in the first few months of life when they're most vulnerable to RSV. I would anticipate that those data will be presented to the FDA uh, sometime soon and would very likely lead to an approval uh, for a vaccine for pregnant women. For young children, that may still take some time because as we saw in COVID, we tend to march down the age groups uh, before uh, giving vaccines to uh, very young children. Yeah, taking extra care with the little ones. Okay, Dr. Daniel Kritzkis, thanks as always for being with us. You're very welcome. Thank you.